Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 2, The Wizard's Throne. We have finished all three fire missions. On to Water Sphere, Episode 1. Water. Initiation phase. I feel within me the motion of the seas. Gabriel has endowed me with the power of water. The humans talk fearfully of the vicious goblin hordes. Out of desperation, they have chosen to bow down to a cruel water goddess named Nimu. She demands the people sacrifice their fair daughters to prove their loyalty to her. Gabriel informed me that Nimu is a wizard whose vanity and envy is legendary, even within the circle. We shall see. Oh no. Nimu, huh? Hmm. I did switch over from Yaka to Yaka, but I don't know if I can go to Nimue. Wizard Marinus used to hold this land. We'll see. But his halfling followers have no mind for war. Marinus is greatly weakened and has asked for Gabriel's help. He claims he cannot return to Evermore by his own power. The halflings are savvy tradesmen and could provide my colonies with commerce. But resting the minds of my fellow humans free from Nimue's embrace will be difficult. Okay, so yeah, we are playing as the Halflings. Alright, that is correct. Still a channeler, okay. Ah, you've arrived! A remote Halfling village outside of my domain awaits your guidance. I hope this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Mm hmm. Probably don't want to grab that before we have a town. Up this way, maybe? I don't know. Wrong way. And I am punished with one fewer turn of production, I suppose. Okay, research. So we had the geyser spell before, but we don't anymore, so our spells have all reset. Going into water. Uh, let's just go with enchant weapon to start, that's always a good one. And Marinus over here has a teleporter. Presumably we will also have one so we can get to each other. And he's just got leprechauns. Okay. Oh, well, leprechauns are pretty good. It is the ultimate halfling unit. So one thing that'll be interesting to see Oh, he's got so much, so much money. That's absurd. Uh, yeah, one thing that'll be interesting to see is how much uh, Nimue's characterization has changed in the 21 years since uh, Age of Wonders 2 and Age of Wonders 4. Because uh, I just finished a mission where I was having to fight uh, Nimue in Age of Wonders 4. So, spoiler, I guess, she survives this game. I think all the wizards do. Welcome, tall wizard. There is little time for pleasantries, as goblins have landed on our island. Okay. Well, you go in here. And yeah, we have... We have a teleporter. That would be the goblins. Owned by Map. Uh, 
a mob. Yeah, I haven't seen or heard anything about mob in Age of Wonders 4, so that's interesting. Uh, mob is an earth wizard. Uh, she rules over the goblins. And uh, I guess that's a thing I could do, uh, maybe. Is, uh... I was gonna say try to make try to make her in Age of Wonders 4, but I mean most of the wizards do seem to be showing up in the campaign at various points, so maybe I'll wait until I'm done the story mode before I start doing stuff like that. Uh, and I moved this guy out here just so that I didn't have an isolated unit. They'd be less likely to attack me. Did I forget to set buildings in my town? I sure did. What do I get? Not a wizard tower. Okay. Oh, we have a siege workshop, but not a... Oh, we have a builder's hall. Never mind. Uh, right. Build stuff is over here. Stuff we can build is over here. Um, Slinger, swordsman, peasant... Pioneer. We could maybe do a Pioneer. Let's get a few more units. Okay, we're actually going to use Merlin to fight here. Merlin's stats are pretty good for early game fights. I don't have a tower anyway. Okay. Self destruct. A little bit scary. However, you're already dead. However, you're already dead. And healing showers. 3 to 5 HP heal, huh? If we could try to keep the slinger alive. Unfortunately, Merlin got all the experience there, and Merlin doesn't gain experience. Zero out of zero. I uh, probably actually just want to move everybody in here, because we will be... ...doing a totally not evil act. This sort of thing didn't become evil until Age of Wonders 3. We are good. Yeah. So CPU Knight, okay. Expander, Technophobe, Survivalist. So yeah, grows fast, cheap units, but less production. And you are decadent. Units cost more upkeep, but then you make more money and move faster. Okay. Well, taking that town should help out the start pretty tremendously. Depriving enemies of a town and gaining a town for yourself, it's a, a nice way to go. And that was totally map axe, knowing that there was a water a water node right there. I'd say Marinus's setup here is actually pretty nice. Private, do not enter. Okay.
Can we build a boat? We just need more units. We can get this one. The teleporter, the teleporter leads to my humble realm. Actually, it's not that humble. Please do come and see my beautiful gardens after you get rid of these goblins. Uh, that's the plan. What is this? This is... Just a transport? Yes. It is now a scout unit. Okay, you will come around this way in case there's anything out here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so what spells did I actually start with? Lurker gets me a water concealment swimming unit, I believe. Water walking allows me to cross water, and healing showers. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be, yeah, doing the full reset every time we switch spheres, which kind of makes sense because otherwise the campaign would be, what, six spheres times three missions each is 18 missions. Like you'd, you'd run out of research way too quickly. Man, I just can't, I just can't stop thinking about that Nimue thing. I'm going to have to listen to Age of Wonders 4 and see if they went with Nimue. Because I think they mentioned her name at some point in the intro there. Alright, what are we going to do here? Probably a siege workshop, just so we can build faster. Does building faster matter? I can one turn my units anyway. Uh, not if I want to get more buildings, though. Get my rogues and my pony riders. Okay. Or 17 turns for a wizard tower. Let's not do that. Okay, it looks like we have seen the extent of the land. How wonderful of you to stop by. I'd love to take you for a stroll across the grounds and show you my tower, but other concerns are keeping me occupied. Okay, well... Oh, there's a sign over there, too. Well, let's grab this grind pool. I know it says private, do not enter, but we have justification. There's a halfling town there, and that looks like Nimue's territory. Man, I wish I had Eagle Riders. I guess we can do something about that. Okay, nicely done. Okay, 11 turns. And yeah, Halfling bonus is gold. So our cities will be profitable. Okay, that town's neutral. Let's uh, come back and grab some land units so that we can take it. And if Merlin dies, currently I do not have a tower, so I would just lose. Oh, I forgot to click on the sign, and now it's not in vision. Oh, nice. It's a good start.
We got an elf rogue. Okay. When you gain heroes in this game, they are of your alignment. They are not necessarily of your race. Okay, we will move everybody in. Transport seven. So you can hold up to seven units. Well, here are five. Uh, something else, I'm assuming that our equipment was also lost. Yep. Oh, Nimu must have uh, must have a wizard tower there. Okay. Who is that spying on me and my nymphs? Marinus? Hey, who are you? I will get you. Uh, go away. Nemo is bathing bay. Warriors will be punished terribly. Okay, and then we got a bunch of nymphs here. As well as some other human units. Human ranger. And there is the landfill, of full of toxic fumes. That sounds like a place to avoid. And we will accept next turn. means not building anything. Okay. Uh, let's go up this way. I trust that the area between us is going to be relatively safe. Oh, well, there is a city in there, so maybe not. Two thirty. And another ruined city. Hopefully we don't just find ruined cities this entire campaign. Okay, here we can get nothing because we're poor, because we just built stuff. Okay. Uh, but we, we did get a rogue and a pony rider, so tier 2 halflings. Excellent. You know what? Let's just warm up. Uh, out of movement. You are probably going to die. Alright. Wetland. Torrential rains flood the lands, but leave your cities unharmed. So one thing that's kind of weird about Age of Wonders 2 is it seems like you can just get your late game spells in your starting spell book. It just seems to be completely random. Physical protection and water walking. That seems useful for this mission. Hmm. Not building anything. Because we want our units here. Man, halflings are slow. Pestilence cloud does damage. 
but we got through. Okay, it looks like a random undead hero, just out exploring. Uh, right, you finished, but you are not finished. You have three more turns of housing, and then you're grown up and get a little bit more money and quite a few more options. Gabriel, I sense a strong air disturbance originating from the aisle ahead. Be prepared for storms in the area. It's really forcing me to move one tile at a time. Is that so that I don't have my transport taken out by air elementals? A little bit dangerous to be exploring with a stack like that. Can I move there safely? I guess so. Probably not enough mana to actually teleport that, whatever it is, but we'll look at it. Jack, Undead Rogue. Uh, right, you don't need wall climbing or anything, you can just take these in this game. I'm trying to keep my Age of Wonders straight. Because every game is different. Right, so if I do this... Hmm. I'm hoping I have enough to take that out. Here are a couple of human settlements that have fallen for Nimu's charms. Nothing but a fight will win them back. Three ballistas, two crossbows, behind walls. And a draconian hero with fire breath. Yeah, that looks kinda hard. Some halfling's ring. Physical weakness, invisibility, and true seeing. Well, that is expensive. Do I really want that anyway? Physical weakness is pretty questionable. You, know, you guys just got a hero. I don't think my army is really capable of dealing with that. Not behind walls. So we'll just grab her water wheel. Water wheel, I guess. Because enough money to build our own wizard tower would be nice. Or we build catapults and attack the city with that. Yeah, migrated the humans to halflings. Because humans are not good. Got a witch here. Building more ballistas, okay. 
The AI does like their ballista units. And I guess they're available pretty early on. They're going for the ring, maybe. Hill of the Dead. Okay. Hmm. Oh, right. That's what we can see. Here is the king of Waterdown. And there is Waterdown. Well, we can look into that. And it looks like that is pretty much the extent of our islands. There might be a little bit more there. Well, I did not get the ring. Unless I declare war on Marinus, I suppose. Keen on the fifty percent more physical damage it is kind of annoying to hunt down the enemy's wizard when they're invisible, though. So I should probably build a pioneer here and just rebuild this, and then I would have the advantage of numbers. Ballistas. So yeah, that is a unit you can build, and you can choose to only build that, I suppose. Oh, they're leaving. Good. This is my opportunity. Let's just build it here. And you... can come back. Alright, so what left? An absurd number of units left is what the answer to that question is. Can I take that? I still don't think I can take it. So why did I do this? Moving my army there was, what, to pressure them to move back? If they're split up, maybe I can hit one but not the other? Maybe, if I'm really lucky, they'll capture this town from my ally and then I can capture it from them and then I'll have another town. gonna get another ballista next turn because they didn't get a unit this turn. I can't even cast spells because my wizard's not in the fight. Um, and this has walls too. Yeah, there's just no way.
The nice thing about being a fire mage, well, again, not being in my range, so it doesn't matter, but as a fire mage, you can deal with these wooden siege engines fairly easily. Hey, look, another ballista. Called it. Yeah, if I hit M, it'll just move on its path. What are you guys doing? Nothing. You know what? I'll just build it here. Have a redundant backup tower once we've conquered this other one. Assuming that we ever conquered this other one. Oh. Pestilence Cloud. I took one damage. Okay, I took a little bit more damage that time. Yeah, sure. Just uh, kill my unit before I get a turn. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Why are halflings so slow? Job me. Oh, rip hero. Needs to have a rogue so I can take advantage of that. Losing the hero to take this town? Probably worth it. Well, we rescued this, so we now have another town here. I did see the ballista. It was going towards my other town. Hopefully it doesn't conquer it. The main issue with losing that hero is it means I don't have a hero that's going to carry over into the next mission. Which is pretty bad. So I don't know if, I don't know if the game will give us another one. Okay, so they have... Sent their one unit. Yeah, 
think a ballista can take a catapult? Two ballistas probably can. Oh. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Yeah, so poison is water element, apparently. Okay, let's get a cheap combat spell. And we need units, like the Ballista, since all of our units have a movement speed of 20, apparently. Yeah, halflings are pretty rough. We're moving so that when we cast this... It can be a little bit... Closer. There. Think you can take on a catapult and a lurker? And you guys are probably just gonna have to suffer for a bit. That's what I thought. Okay, they killed one of my peasants. Okay, you get to come back here, because we will have a tower one day. Actually, it'll be in six days. They're in an alliance. Interesting. Well, if they attack me, they have nothing that's good against walls, but my only ranged unit is a single rogue. Don't really like my chances there. another peasant. Does the Master's Guild even get us anything good? He gets us a cannon. Build. They're taking poison damage too. Thing is, if I try to run. Oh, they're also slow, because they're goblins. I will be forced to take more damage, though. Okay. 
Just trading your resource nodes back and forth. Yeah, losing that hero was definitely not worth it. Water Down has been rebuilt. And as usual, it is an absurdly big town. Uh, it doesn't have anything in it, but its population is pretty good. Pretty sizable. See, if I attack with this, wouldn't the ballistas just destroy the catapults before I get an action? I feel like that might be how it plays out. She gets spells if she wants. Too busy casting her pestilence clouds, though, I guess. The fact that you have 28 movement makes you an important unit. We'll try to keep you alive. Poison the Ballista. Good idea. These rogues are pretty decent units. Not amazing, but... He's a tier 2, so... You know, they do some work. If I do this, I think I can shoot over you without hitting you. And metal on the rogue. Nice. Which will get you that highly coveted marksmanship upgrade, and you started with one, so you're now actually quite dangerous. So if I hurry this... We need to get some units out, and we have a lot of money. And yeah, you're gonna go cower in the city. Vengeful Vapor researched. I guess we'll go with Poison Plants. I think that's an Overland spell, rather than a combat spell. So with 9 units... That's just absurd, though. Are we in a Plague Cloud again? obnoxious. Uh, I do have water concealment. It's a water dancer, I believe. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be based off of, but it is what it is. This has been a pretty rough start on this mission. Okay, we built our Builder's Hall.
Don't really want to just be building siege stuff, though. Nice. Speaking of siege stuff, uh, right, you can't actually do anything because you're too small again. If I'd had that water form earlier, maybe I could have kept the hero alive. But we don't need the hero. It's useful, but not necessary. Of course. <laughs> of course they would. Now uh, you're immune to poison. No, maybe Siege is the right answer. You're protected against poison. And at least we're getting a good sense of the lay of the land, thanks to our ally doing things. Just generally being obnoxious. Oh, just being a halfling, I guess. I wonder if I had rushed really hard, if I would have been able to get that city right, of, right off the bat. Well, we want better units. And we have a wizard tower. Uh, which helps in some capacity. Reach. You can, but that's three ballistas. I mean, you can reach. That's not a fight I want to take. Oh, shoot. Maybe they won't attack us. Uh, we can't actually attack because I moved the lurker with everybody else. Okay, I screwed that up. And our ally doesn't have any domain in this area. Alright, well let's just lose our entire army and uh, start the mission over again next time. How's that sound? Liquid Form, 10 upkeep. I mean, it is a pretty good spell. Oh, they're building swashbucklers now. More cannon. Let's 
uh, an absurd number of units. Maybe they're not. Maybe it just came here. So we could do a 10 on 9 fight. I have no confidence in that. Not to mention that they just have 5 units left over. I mean, I have some units that should be pretty good. And these lurkers are not going to be very good against my machines. Uh, maybe we go for it. Of course, she can cast spells, and I cannot. accuracy 55% accuracy of course fire cannon I mean at the end of the day this fight is just going to be pure RNG. Who gets their hits with their siege weapons? How high the damage rolls are with the siege weapons? And you're probably just dead. But, haven't even gotten a single hit yet. Those damage rolls. It's absurd. How are you hitting from all the way back there? hit. Let's just finish you off. Forty. So close. There we go, that's a lot of misses. Three of my units just to hit that thing once. OK. 
Here, we took out those three. You still have a move. I mean, these things do have a lot of range. I'll give them that. One damage, of course. And that's the other thing about this. Not only is it random whether you hit or not, but then, you know, your damage is from 1 to whatever your actual damage score is. So, like, with this thing, I do 1 to 12 damage if I hit with the boulder. 50%. If I firebomb, it's slightly more accurate, but way less damage. But, less damage and hitting is better than more damage, but not hitting. shoot them, that means they can't shoot me, right? How many casting points do they have? I mean, that spell is only four. Fifty... That's my best shot. Yep, my best shot. Did I just forget to move my, my slinger last turn? Fifty-five? It is theoretically possible for my catapult to hit things with one of its attacks. Okay, that was utterly atrocious. Hmm. So the question is, do I just start the mission over? Like, I lost my hero, I lost all my units. What have I actually gained so far? I mean, I do have these two cities, which in theory should be good enough to, like, I feel like with these two cities here, I am in a decent position. Uh, maybe we'll try to play it out. Uh, we'll continue with this next time then. I will see you then.